Welcome back to Go Games. This is Capital City. Alright, the last couple videos here, we've been working on these hotels uh, midway down uh, what we're calling Casino Island now. Uh, it's the only area in the city that gambling is legal, so we're calling it Casino Island. This uh, stretch of land between the uh, forks of the river here. So we're detailing these uh, hotels here. Um, we did this one, uh, the Luxor, the last hotel, uh, the last uh, video, and then uh, this uh, this hotel here with the three towers. We did that the uh, video before that. Uh, this video here, we are going to do this uh, Intercontinental. I think it's called Intercontinental Hotel in Bangkok. Um, is the name of it. I, I assume it's based off of a, a real hotel. Um, really like it. It's uh, excellent uh, detail. Asset was very well done. Um, and I just like the uh, shape of the building. I think it fits in uh, very well here. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and come off this drive here into the parking lot. Um, so we're going to come straight off of here, uh, pretty much parallel to the parking lot, or to the uh, hotel itself. So let's go ahead and grab and move it, and grab some trees, bushes, that type of stuff, and kind of clear that out of the way. Uh, yeah, let's just delete all that. Um, I guess these are props. Get rid of the props. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and go down to the uh, tiny roads. Grab a uh, tiny two way road. And then I think we're just going to come straight off of here. I Lined up with the hotel as possible. Um, I think that's uh, actually. Let's go ahead and see if we can straighten the hotel a little bit with this fence fence row here. Because I'm uh, thinking that these would be lots off of uh, this road, so. Uh, like this fence row would be the edge of their lot because there would be an easement there for the uh, monorail. Um, something in this building would probably line up with the uh, side of the lot itself. Um, let's see if we can get that really straight there. Uh, yeah, that looks uh, looks pretty straight. Okay, so now we'll go back around and uh, kind of line this up based off of the hotel now. Uh, and we'll just go out 300 for now. guidelines there there we go that should make it easier uh, when you take the road guidelines off it no longer clips to guideline it was picking up the guideline probably from the um, so that you know the way, uh, the, way the uh, road was being laid so then I want to grab a uh, now let's stick with the tiny this tiny road. And we're going to come off of here and we're going to build a road out front. And that is a little bit too close. Yeah, 
that's too close. So we'll go a little. And I think that may be a little bit too far away. Let's try this. She works. Yeah, because you want to be right on top of it, but not uh, not close enough that it it interferes with the uh, with the hotel itself. So I'm thinking uh, we will um, probably bring this. We need to turn those guidelines back on. on this one which I realize isn't the same distance but that's fine and I want to put in a, another road right here on the back but this time I want it to be one of this plain street um, right along the back I don't want it to go all the way down um, And then I'm thinking, uh, let's get rid of trees and props here. Kind of clear out room for a parking lot. So we've got that cleared. So I'm thinking uh, this is a little bit smaller hotel than the other two, so I don't think we need nearly as much park. So I'm thinking that we're just going to go with. Um, actually, let's just do five over. And let's see. Yeah, let's just do five over. I want a temporary I want to delete this road here. And want to put in this. And um, yeah, that works. And then I'm going to switch over to five left. Let's see if that works. Yes. And uh, as you can see, I was using right on this side because it was on this side of the road, and then I switched to left, and it switched it over so they look the same, but. They're not really the same. And then on this one, I put it using the left, so I'm going the other direction. And then we'll just leave that. So now I'm thinking um, we'll go ahead and continue this. Um, Plain road. Maybe we'll just continue it out to right here. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. And then we'll do um, five left. Let's 
switch to fire right. And I did this as a reverse, yep. Because I want this road to come down here. I don't know if I wanted to do that right there at that node. Um, well, let's see what it looks like. Let's take it out. Because I want the drive lanes to be not in the parking stall. Yeah, see, that's fine. Um, because there is, there is parking along here, but we're going to eliminate all the parking along the side of the road, so that works. Um, so going back to uh, this parking, uh, we want left here, yeah, and then left here. And then left here, and I'll we'll switch to right. And then we won't do it right here because we're going to have another road. Um, so I'm thinking with this size hotel, I'm not sure if we really need any more parking than that. Um, it's just one tower. I'm thinking maybe um, maybe half a dozen rooms of floor. Um, so I'm thinking that there's really not much need for any more parking than that. So we'll go ahead and run the uh, tiny road, tiny two-lane road down here. I'm thinking it should connect to this. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and add in um, maybe another. No, I think we'll just leave that. Uh, I think we'll just leave that alone. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that alone. And then instead of using the uh, fixture off of that one, we will use this going this direction. In this direction. We may have to modify that, but we will. And then, um, grab this, pull it down. Yep, perfect. And then go over. And we will grab the uh, three. It's the two, the three. There. Actually, that looks like that's a different shade. So. And we 
we use the two. That's the four. I guess we'll just use the two and have a driveway. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just have the drive line. Uh, we'll have a drive line there, which would make sense in most uh, parking lots. And then. Uh, I think I went too far here. So uh, what we're going to need to do is grab these two and pull them apart. Because um, this is a walkway here. But I need to go right to, let's say, right here. And this one will sit right here. And of course, we'll fix the uh, the surface concrete later. Uh, we'll fix that here. Um, and then uh, let's see here. Getting a little too close to the building. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any doors on this side, so we're going to go ahead and grab uh, two. And then, um, oh, I guess this wasn't a two. <laughs> I guess that was a, uh, what is that, a four? That works. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Do this edge over here. And then remember, I plopped an extra one right here. So we'll just pull this down until it's even with that, and then even with the other side. And pretty good there. Now when you're moving, there is a little bit of clipping. But once you can leave your uh, mouse still, uh, the clipping disappears um, with, these, uh, with these assets. Okay, I like that. Um, so let's go ahead and fill in the uh, surface concrete here. And of course, we're going to need some. Concrete to fill this in. We might put a row of shrubs right there behind those parking stalls. Um, since we really weren't able to fit another stall in there. And I really didn't want another stall, uh, one of the backs, to these tiny roads because um, they can't enter the parking lot from the tiny roads. They have to enter here at these entrance points.
So you have to go into the parking lot itself, either from this point, from this point, or from this point here. Um, this road back here is to connect to what would be this lot back here, which I'm not going to detail, but for saying that it was, if it was sold in the future or developed in the future, um, there would be a road. This road would run back here, connecting to two or three lots, however many lots are back this direction. So we're just going to leave that as uh, kind of wild uh, woods, so to speak. Um, move that tree over, move that. Connect to that prop. There we go. Connect to that prop there. And then we'll fill in the uh, we'll fill in this wooded area again because all this would be would be wooded. But I'm going to go ahead and go through and uh, I think we're going to detail this fence row here. Um, the uh, monorail is above ground, obviously. But I'm thinking realistically, um, if you're out in the middle of the woods or you're running a great distance, um, that it really wouldn't need to be above ground. Um, not to mention right here at the edge of the runway, it would probably be safer if it was uh, on the, sitting on the ground itself. Um, or maybe just, uh, you know, a foot or so above the ground instead of uh, dozens of, or however many feet it is above the ground or meters above the ground. So I have it running above, uh, above the ground most of the time, but right through this area here I have it on the ground. So I'm thinking in order to do that, they're going to need to keep people, wildlife, everything off of the tracks. So they're going to have to have this fenced. Um, so I put that fence in there. And then obviously it's a nicer fence closer to the hotel. And then as it gets into the woods, um, it's more of a, uh, just a practical fence than something really decorative or anything like that. All right, so um, after we have that taken care of, um, let's go ahead and... Um, this concrete set up here and then so thinking the details on this one will be quite tame compared to the other one uh, the other one I went into a lot of detail put a lot of curves in and that type of stuff I'm thinking with this one we're just going to do some trees we did a uh, outer road uh, around the parking lot this time instead of doing a uh, instead of doing the curves uh, so we didn't have to decorate the, the concrete or um, anything like that, the surface painter. We didn't have to worry about that. So uh, this time we just uh, use the, I keep forgetting about that. This new, ever since the update, you have to, every time you pick a line, you have to pick your item twice for some reason. I'm not sure. Um, but it's been doing that since the update. Uh, let's see. Put that in there just like that. And then maybe bring this down to here. We do have a tree that's in the middle of that. And pull that out. Thinking maybe we'll drop another couple trees. Right there. That works. Okay, so we're good. So now I'm thinking that uh, we're going to have to decorate the front of this, um, but it's not going to be anything. Um, too high or too elaborate. They're not going to want like a lot of trees or um, uh, high bushes or anything like that in front of the hotel to hide it or anything. So I'm thinking that they're going to uh, we'll put 
put a row of trees in, um, maybe a thinner layer of trees, but we'll, we will spread them out considerably farther apart. Um, let's see, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, let's go 10 meters and see how that looks. And maybe we gotta hit it twice where it messes up. It might even want a little bit further out than that, even. Um, thinking maybe. Yeah, let's see if we can do 20 meters. Yeah, try to get the arc right here. That works. So as you're coming around, if you're driving around this bend, you'll be able to see that um, hotel without really having, you know, it's not that that big of a deal there. Didn't quite get the arc where I wanted it on some of these a little bit too far out, but yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. See, I just didn't want a full a full wall of uh, trees and stuff like it is on this side but what you're seeing on that side is just parking lot and the front of the hotel is actually on the other side for uh, the Lexor there so now I'm thinking uh, maybe we can do um, I don't know if I want to do the high grass here See, I think that would just not look right. Um, so I'm going to try to do the manicured grass. Um, see what this would look like. Um, I'm thinking because this is a colder sack that we're going to bring another drive down this way. So I'm going to hold off on doing anything else right there. No. Not to mention I'll make it easier to detail this area. Hmm. 
But to look into this, I'm wondering why some of these are a different shape than others. Um, But if you double stack these and then you can maneuver them around to fill in your gaps. And then there is also a decal uh, that you can fill in with the rest too, uh, which I will use. I can't remember if I double stack that one or not. But it is now. And one thing about these tiny roads, uh, this decal will fall underneath the tiny roads. The tiny roads will, will move underneath of it automatically, so you don't have to worry about any sharp edges or anything like that. Will automatically, uh, will automatically do. So we're looking pretty good there. Um, again, I can't remember. Double click that. Go ahead and double it up. Okay. Fill that gap in. There we go. So I'm just going to leave this. I'll fill the rest of the, this in off camera because uh, that's kind of taking a, a lot of time to do that. But I'm thinking uh, we'll probably do uh, yeah. Let's do some uh, let's do these ornamental trees. Get a different color here. Maybe we'll do uh, four of them or so. Here. I don't know if I want to run it all the way down the side of the building or not. Um, yeah, why not? And then maybe. Uh, over here on the back side there we go so I think that looks good and then I think uh, we're just gonna uh, do the rest of that in grass um, yeah I think we're just gonna do the rest of that in grass and not leave any other trees or anything so I'm gonna go back to the roads and bring another tiny road down And yeah, let's just connect to this node. I wasn't sure how far down I was wanting to bring it, but that way that eliminates that cul-de-sac. Um, so you have two ways in and out of there. Uh, so that would be a more rational way to do that.
this in just to line up this road. That automatically brings the zoning to that side. And just grab this road again. And I put the wrong ones in. Oh, I'll fix that off camera. Um, but I think that'll uh, that'll do it for this hotel here. Uh, once we fill in the uh, get the right shades of green in there, and then uh, do the uh, fill in the rest of the gaps here. I think we're just going to leave that like that. Um, Maybe we might do some work up here on top. Um, it's a nice green area there. I don't see any doors though. I wonder if in the real uh, uh, the real asset whether that's a uh, platform that you can walk on or not, um, or whether it's just a, a decorative area. To me, that would be an excellent place to have uh, uh, receptions or uh, uh, even weddings themselves or some sort of conference or anything like that, assuming that this was in a uh, quiet area. Uh, but uh, it's in the middle, heart of downtown. It would be kind of noisy, even three or four stories up. It would still be pretty noisy that, uh, that far up. But anyway, so we'll, uh, we'll hold off on decorating that. So I will fill in the rest of this. Um, you'll see the screenshot on the thumbnail, uh, or I should say you've already seen the screenshot, uh, the thumbnail with it completely finished. And then I do post uh, more pictures, more stills on my Instagram account. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Hit that like button to help uh, get the video out there and uh, hit that subscribe button for the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. This has been Gomer Games. Thank you.